Moi Bun. Hey guys, this is Moi Bun. In one of my last videos, I introduced some free apps for streaming, and I said I'm using two apps right now. One is paid app called Lapet, and there's a free app called V Magic Mirror. Today, I'm going to show you the complete guide of how to use the V Magic Mirror, how to download it, how to set it up, and how to connect it to your Streamlab. Or you can just leave it on your desktop as a little desktop mm. if you wish. So personally, I think compared to Lapet, Puppet V Magic Mirror is having much more functions. First of all, the V Magic Mirror doesn't require any cameras. So I'm talking right now and it's like I'm looking at you, but I'm actually not having my camera on. So it's a camera free, free VTuber app. And it's also having keyboard and mouse, as you can see here. It shows keyboard and mouse movement. It gives a lot of variety to your viewers. Thirdly, besides the keyboard and the mouse pad, you can actually have the gamer control, or you can just hide keyboard and just use it as a normal face recognition tool when you do the streaming. So today we're going to check how it's downloaded and how we need to set it up. To find the V Magic Mirror, you need to go to the booth. I will put this link down below. You can click this link, come to the V Magic Mirror page, and as you can see here, it says a free version. So you just need to click download and you need to sign in with the Pixiv. Booth is a really great platform for you to collect different textures for your models. Sign in to account, click the free download, and it will start downloading. After it's downloaded, you can see there's a zip file. Extract the file, and it will give you a folder like this. Double click on VMatch Mirror 1.6, and you can see here there's a VMatch Mirror.exe, and you just double click it, and then you can follow the steps and finish the installation. This is how you download and install the VMatch Mirror. This is VMagic Mirror after setup. Even if you don't want to be a VTuber or you don't want to do the streaming, you can still use this app as a desktop mm. for yourself. You can load different types of models and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's start from scratch. I'll close down the VMagic Mirror for a while. Ding, 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 ding. After installation of VMagic Mirror, you just need to double click. This is what we have. After we load the VMagic Mirror, there will be two windows. One is this controller and one is display window. There's already a mouse and a keyboard showing. We haven't load any models yet. Go to the home, load VRM and load file on PC. You can just select the VRM file that you exported from Vroid Studio and they are in VRM format. So if you wonder how to export a Vroid model into VRM file, I'll show you over here. You just need to open the model and you go to camera and exporter and over here you can see the option of export and you click on this tab and it will show over here it will show the export information you just need to click over here on the export and there are two fields that are required put in whatever you need to fill then you click ok as you can see over here the type is showing as a vrm format and you click save this is how you can get the vrm file into the magic mirror and it will load for me and I will just say OK. The language is set to English. You can change to Japanese as well. Then you just need to adjust what is more suitable for you. So first of all, you might need to check your lip sync and you select the microphone that suits you more. The character's mouth can move when you talk. Put show volume just to make sure that you are talking. You can tick the track face or you don't need to do it. My character is still moving naturally. I'm going to open the track face and I will open my camera. Now I'm moving the body. My model is also turning head and move around and I think the movement is really smooth I really like it and then after you adjust your lip sync and your face sync you can try to calibrate your position and you can also enable the image based hand tracking even though I'm not having a lip motion and your hand can move a little when your camera is on it's also a function that you can try on. you can also choose where your character's eye is looking at the mouse I will track where the mouse is you can also focus the eye on the user it's like looking at the camera also you can just put two none it's like looking at the screen in front of her in the view you want to show the keyboard and the mouse and if you have a gamepad you can just show the gamepad you can show the shadow if you want to sometimes i like to tick on this wind it shows a little bit of natural hair movement so my setup is normally i tick on the keyboard and the wind and the camera will come to a bit later if you can't find any arrows over here around the keyboard and the mouse you need to check free layout when it's off it's like the view is locked, so you can't move anything. Only when you click the free layout, you can adjust where your keyboard is, where your mouse is. After you can see that you can control the mouse and the keyboard, then you just need to adjust the position of it. What you need to do is you use the right mouse to rotate. You can click on the arrows to move the mouse 
and the keyboard up and down. You just need to adjust it first so the body is not twisting too much. To test if this is making sense, you just need to type a little bit of something and then move the mouse. You see if it's totally off like this, it's like totally off. Besides moving position, you can also rotate your keyboard and mouse. If you want to show a bit more of your keyboard to the audience, under the control mode, click rotation. Then you can just click and tilt in a way that is making sense. And you can also make the keyboard size bigger or make it smaller, the same as the mouse pad as well. You can always play around with this control. After you find the view that you are satisfied with, just go to camera, click quick save as number three. I click number three, then this view is loaded into the number three. And if you want to load any of them, you just need to go to the quick load and click one and this is how it looks like in one and two and three so you can save three different things for your setup and if you don't want to show keyboard or gamepad you can just untick it and put it as a hand down mode then the magic mirror will be a normal um, face track device you can try a presentation like hand if you want to point at something on the screen after you play around with all these panels what you need to do is to clean up the green background all you need to do is to untick the free layout and if you are satisfied with this whole setup you just need to go to home and go to setting management and click on save here you can save the file so i'm going to save it on desktop and call it demo after you save it and you make some changes and you just need to click on load and you click on the file and everything will be loaded so it's how you set up the model there's one important thing i would like to show it is in home go to setting and over here you can make more changes the thing that i suggest everyone to do is that in motion and arm to protect your privacy take on random typing to hide key input i'm typing on the same key and my hand is showing that it's typing different places on the keyboard and the rest i just kept it as it is and also you can use a hotkey to show different motions. So we set a joy to the hotkey P enables face expression and we can extend the duration of this expression. And when I press P, it shows the joy face. You can play around with VMagic Mirror a lot. If you want to have a desktop, it's already done. Just keep it on the foreground like this. And if you want to stream with your character, in the next step, I'm going to show you how to set it up in Streamlab. So after you find a position, you can disable the free layout and it will enable the transparent window. And now you can load this image into Streamlab and I'm going to show you how to do it. If you want to use it for streaming, having this image is not enough. You need to load this image into Streamlab OBS. This is the VMagic Mirror display window and we need to load this into the Streamlab. If you want to add a scene, you just click the plus over here and you need to rename the scene and you can add a new scene. Go to the sources and click this plus. You need to choose a game capture. The Streamlab OBS is seeing this VMagic Mirror as a game and you just add source. I'm going to add a new one as a demo. So you rename it and add source. So the VMagic Mirror is showing in the Streamlab but as you can see the proportion is wrong and the background is still opaque. So what you need to do is to change the mode from auto to capture specific window. Now you can see it's back to the normal size and the window you need to make sure that it's VMagic Mirror not controller. In the window match priority, you need to go and change to window title must match. After you select window title must match, you need to allow transparency. Now the background is gone. Since it's a character display, I always enable the capture cursor. So if my mouse accidentally goes through this window, it will not show on her. With the hook rate, I normally keep it normal and it's good enough. But you can add it to fast or fastest and you just click done. You are properly loaded into the Streamlab OBS. So now the VMatch Mirror is in Streamlab OBS as a layer on top of my main screen. You need to make sure the layer of VMatch Mirror stays on top. The actual VMatch Mirror, you don't need to keep it on front like this anymore. You can just move it away. And after you are done with it, you can just click go live and start streaming. And this is how you load the VMagic Mirror into the Streamlab OBS. After you're done with streaming, you don't need to save your settings again. If you reopen it, all of the settings will be in the same place. All you need to do is to load your model from the PC and you can still load the things. If you have anything that you don't understand after the tutorial, you can go to the VMagic Mirror official website to check how it's done. And I will also put this link down below in the description. And that's it for this tutorial. I've included the whole process of how to find VMagic Mirror, how to download and install it. And then I showed how to set it up for streaming and how to link it to the Streamlab OBS. I hope this video could help you with your preparation. If this video helps you, please give it a like, share with your friend. 
and subscribe if you want to join me in streaming or get similar content videos later on. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.